Mark, a 20-year-old waiter at an inner-city restaurant, was familiar with most of the regular patrons, including a middle-aged woman who frequented the same corner booth. She had a routine of ordering a simple salad and a glass of water. Clad in plain attire without any makeup, there was nothing ostentatious about her appearance. Yet, Mark couldn't overlook the lingering sadness in her eyes. As days passed, Mark's curiosity about the enigmatic woman, Emily, intensified. He felt a compelling urge to unravel her story, driven by a profound empathy for her evident sorrow. Despite the bustling nature of his job, Mark found himself drawn to her, stealing moments between tasks to engage her in conversation. Whether he was attending to tables or replenishing supplies, Emily remained a focal point of his attention. One day, amidst the tranquility of the sparsely populated restaurant, Mark seized the opportunity to approach Emily, who sat alone in her customary booth. With a mixture of nervousness and determination, he asked if he could join her. Emily, visibly surprised yet welcoming, greeted his company with a warm smile. Her nurturing aura and amiable disposition instantly put Mark at ease, fostering a sense of connection between them. In the midst of their conversation, Mark discovered that Emily's story ran much deeper than he initially surmised. She revealed the profound loneliness that pervaded her life, a loneliness that transcended mere financial struggle, despite the modest appearance she maintained in her simple order. With tears held back, Emily confided in Mark about her lack of family and friends nearby. They all resided on the opposite side of the country. Despite living in the city for work, she found herself ensnared in an emotionally isolating existence, yearning for genuine human connection. Mark listened attentively, his heart swelling with empathy. He intimately understood the ache of longing for companionship, having grappled with similar feelings in the past. Every word Emily uttered struck a chord within him, and he admired her resilience in confronting her solitude head-on. As their conversation unfolded, Mark had a profound realization the restaurant they sat in was more than just a place to dine. For Emily, it served as a sanctuary, a refuge amidst the tempest of loneliness. In that quiet booth, she found solace and a fleeting reprieve from her inner void. Touched by Emily's story, Mark felt compelled to do more than just observe from the sidelines. He recognized his ability to make a meaningful difference, even in small ways, and silently vowed to become a consistent presence in her life a friend she could rely on. With the goal of brightening Emily's days, Mark took deliberate steps to ensure she felt cared for and valued. He reserved her favorite booth, added special touches to her meals, and left uplifting notes to lift her spirits. Their connection deepened, woven together by acts of kindness and mutual understanding. However, their routine was disrupted when Emily, always punctual, suddenly stopped showing up at their meeting spot in the cozy restaurant. Days passed without any sign of her, leaving Mark increasingly worried. Recalling details about Emily's life she had shared during their conversations, he couldn't shake off the concern and resolved to investigate further. Driven by determination, Mark navigated the bustling city until he reached Emily's apartment building. Standing before her door, his heart raced with a mix of emotions, fear, anticipation, and hope. With a deep breath, he knocked gently, waiting anxiously for a response. As Emily opened the door, her face registered a mix of surprise and shock, clearly caught off guard by Mark's unexpected visit. She explained in a weak voice that she had been severely ill, confined to her bed for days, unable to leave her home. Moved by Emily's plight, Mark felt a surge of compassion. Without hesitation, he offered to prepare a nourishing meal for her, ensuring she received the essential nutrients needed for recovery. Not content with mere gestures, he volunteered to stay by her side, tending to her needs until she regained her health. Initially hesitant to impose on him further, Emily's gratitude outweighed her reservations, and she gratefully accepted his selfless offer. As she rested with a warm bowl of soup, she noticed his curious glances around her apartment. Recalling their previous conversations about his modest living situation, her heart ached at the thought of this kind-hearted young man 
shouldering life's burdens alone. Yet she couldn't help but admire his resilience and fortitude. Mark continued to visit Emily's apartment every day, ensuring her well-being until she regained her health and could return to their cherished restaurant. Reunited, Mark made it his mission to pamper Emily whenever she graced the establishment with her presence. He ensured her table was always impeccably set, her salad prepared with care, and her glass promptly refilled. Their conversations continued to be warm and familiar, nurturing their bond. However, as Emily bid him farewell one ordinary lunchtime, Mark couldn't shake a bittersweet feeling in the air. Unbeknownst to him, Emily had left him a parting gift. As he cleared her table, he discovered an envelope addressed to him. Intrigued, he opened it to find a heartfelt letter and a small key. Emily explained in her letter that she had secured a prestigious job opportunity on the other side of the country. Though it pained her to leave, she knew it was an opportunity she couldn't pass up, despite the physical distance it would create between them. Overwhelmed by the potential emotions of a face-to-face -face farewell, Emily opted to express her gratitude and bid farewell through a heartfelt letter. In an act of unparalleled kindness, she bestowed upon Mark her spacious and cozy apartment, along with all its cherished memories. Knowing he could benefit from the space, she entrusted him with it, believing in his capacity to create new memories within its walls, just as he had helped her find happiness and belonging in the restaurant. Accompanying the letter was her contact information, ensuring their paths would remain intertwined despite the physical distance. This gesture left a glimmer of hope that their shared journey was far from over. Touched to tears, Mark was struck by the bittersweet realization that he might never see Emily again. Despite his sorrow, gratitude overwhelmed him as he recognized the profound impact he had made on someone's life. Emily's apartment became more than just shelter, it was a symbol of their deep connection and the unexpected kindness that could blossom between strangers. With a vow to honor Emily's trust, Mark embraced the new journey ahead, promising to stay connected with his friend despite the miles between them.